Hello ladies and gentlemen, and let's face it, this Quicksilver, when he does that, like literally like blink and you miss it, I'll play it again, it's just below right now, when you see stuff like this, yep, yeah, again, it, it's so quick, you will literally miss it, it's 328,000 damage with the build up of the champion through, uh, through Whiplash, Jesus Christ, this is... This is why the player base are incredibly hyped by a champion that we've waited for for a long time. We've wanted to see for a long time. And we had high expectations. And it looks like it could deliver some incredible amounts of damage. I think a lot of us are really uh, looking forward to this champion. So, hello everybody. Welcome to your brand new video. This is going to be a dissection video. Which is going to go a little bit over the footage we've seen in the deep dive. And also the spotlight which has just gone live on the forum. So go and check it out. Uh, you know... Go on the forums, it's going to be there. And also look out for a video that's going to be dropping tomorrow about how to obtain this champion and Gallon, which are both going to be in a featured 6 star and how to get 6 star shards. So I'm going to do a bit of a grind guide. But I wanted to do a video to kind of dissect the champion a bit more. Uh, Quicksilver that is, and I'm going to do one on Gallon. But in particular, like what things are going to be so important and interesting about this this champion for, for players. I think right off the bat, being an anti-miss champion is just a great thing. The evade on stun, Quicksilver is partially stun immune. He can evade any attacks while stunned, uh, but his ability has a cooldown. Can look to be a bit of a frustration as a defender, but from an attacking standpoint, that could be helpful for things like encroaching stun. So that could be a great counter for that. But there does seem to be two key things about this champion that are about his damage potential and his counteracting abilities. Uh, that is momentum for like counteracting type things, which we're going to go look at in a second, and whiplash. They both kind of, to a degree, uh, go hand in hand. But uh, let's kind of look at this a bit more. The more momentum you have, which is in the left-hand corner building up, which you can see is now up to like 200, gives you that interaction base of suppression where you're suppressing things like your uh, evades, we're getting a slow debuff up, or you're doing an interaction with uh, being able to take on champions that are missed champions. And you can see in his still here where she's like he's up to 646 momentum. Kind of treats it similar to combo building champions, except Four, it's not persistent, it's not fight to fight, but the build up uh, to the reward uh, and reward za is going to be very beneficial depending on how you're playing it for um, counteracting abilities. From reading and seeing the footage, it does seem that the champion has some air of complexity to it, but not too much that I think it's going to be. Once you learn the champion, and that won't take too long, it's a pretty simple thing. I and mean, from the video that I've seen, it just seems like this is all about building to like sp1s it's all about throwing heavy attacks in order to keep your momentum up and also you know getting that sp1 to kind of get that high momentum quickly it's all about keeping up your uh, your wither and also it's like keeping up the whiplashes and then it's just a case of firing off an sp2 and bing bang boom you are putting in a huge amount of damage you can basically see in this little clip here which is like the process is it's pretty pretty simple over a short space of time depending on what you want to achieve from this champion heavy attack in order to build up uh, momentum and also the mediums in order to get the whiplash up which you can see right there sp1 to build up that huge amount of momentum very very quickly and double up the or kind of extend again whiplashes and momentum and wither and then putting in that uh, sp1 again to build up to close to terminal velocity get to terminal velocity let the enemy throw a special attack there by, uh, and also there's a, an ability that allows for decent evading but you can see like we'll talk about that in a second but like building up to like taking out like power from the enemy and then kind of throwing an sp2 is then dealing what like two is it 221k like as soon as they expire boom right there. <laughs> and yeah that's just like how how it is like you ju just build your momentum go to terminal velocity whip flashes get them up and then when they do the big expiring with about 30 it's just like boom huge damage uh i incredibly impressive champion uh, it's been built here and i love the little kind of like nods and easter eggs to things that you get off the sp3 there's also some like elder language but the other elements to this is just like just brilliance just real brilliance here i mean always active one thing right here when dodging attack quicksilver cannot be struck by attacks whenever uh, he successfully dodges an attack he inflicts it with a debuff 35 percent potency lasting 10 seconds max three dexterity mastery is replaced but points in it increases the potency by 5% flat. When the opponent loses a bar of power, pause all trauma and uh, with the debuffs, 
for uh, 10 seconds. I guess that's why, you know, the, you kind of look to take the enemy out of uh, any kind of power gain. So it's like, okay, so if it's got less than a bar of power, then that, you know, uh, I would say classifies that potentially. Um, and then also 100% chance to evade attacks when dashing or while stunned. This means that that deals with a situation of special attacks which i think is showcased in the deep dive video yeah which is this one right here where you can see like uh swiping back on decks means for actual clean um getting like evading that special attack which is kind of weird because like with the current input problems this basically is like a counter for input issues if you have it active that evade active because it does uh, go on cooldown that's the only thing uh, goes on cooldown for was it 15 a 15 second cooldown so yes for 50 15 seconds whilst you're not worrying about input problems that's helping you out and that's uh, that's really good so at this point i'm already thinking about champions that could like counteract this and whether or not i take crossbones in order to purify some of the uh, the debuffs that you get on or you know it's going to be archangel but trying to get something like a parry heavy may not actually be kind of like the right way to kind of like go with this but we'll see next week when it comes to like trialing out some champion counters for it but like yeah from what i've seen with the deep dives and what i've seen what i've read with uh, with this the spotlight it does give some more interest Interesting interactions even from uh, the perspective of how the dexterity mastery works with this because it's like uh, the Quicksilver does not gain the dexterity mastery if you uh, if you have the mastery it simply makes it uh, makes his wither stronger this means he never gains any buffs not even from the dexterity mastery this is really good for things like power flood I mean let's face it with power flood like enemy champions getting power when you kind of get buffs handy for situations of um, buffet uh, super buffet and also kind of like an option to take on things like variant one so it's really good that this champion has that element of coverage of new kind of interaction abilities being kind of like a good champion to go against a they based champions with a slow slow mat slow debuff the um, the also ability to kind of like suppress miss based champions from a utility factor it is really interesting from a burst damage perspective even more fascinating and interesting i think this is a double whammy champion really lots of kind of like i think it like even people are saying that this must be the best science champion uh there there is and i think it's definitely one of the strong if not the strongest candidate for something of that particular classification definitely looking at some of the way he interacts he's kind of like a beefed up version of uh, spider-man 2099 i like my spider-man 2099 i just think this may be one of these champions in quicksilver that i'll be very impressed for like saving up my six star featured sh shards and kind of like seeing how we do uh, and yeah loads of interaction with despairs and mastery and there are also some really cool synergies I wouldn't mind trying out. A lot of the uh, the ones with Sister, which is Dear Sister, which is the one with Scarlet Witch and uh, Scarlet Witch, you know, Sigil. There's some interesting stuff. Like, I probably will be doing a video, and I'm definitely doing a video on how uh, Veil of Fortune triggers and a 50% chance to gain a prowess buff. 50% is not too bad. And as well, uh, what else? Like, when gaining one instability gain a prowess buff gaining 50 percent special attack so they're kind of the same with scarlet Witch sigil so i actually would love to break out uh, a team with this uh, scarlet Witch sigil maybe a little bit more i don't know I, i'm a big fan of the classic one i've got both of them so we'll have to see uh with it uh, and there's a few other things as well wiccan gets um you know fury buff whereas quicksilver gets uh some degen resistance and first special attack after reaching max momentum charges has its attack power increased by 70 percent it's annoying that it's the first special attack for for quicksilver because you kind of go like well that's well is that just for the team kind of thing spiritual uncle as we said maybe avengers where you got some i man infinity war while opponents suffering from armor break they are inflicted with a passive cowardice reducing special attack power a special attack damage and uh, thor ragnarok yeah okay cool uh, but also, like, Captain America Infinity War increases potency of Fury effects by 25%. Nice. That could do some pretty meaty damage. Although, some of the stuff here, um, not really interested in that. The Breakout, that Breakouts, I think, will be the quintessential one to go to. Because Whiplash damage increases by 25%. Which is, again, part and parcel important and fun for the champion. Uh, but you have to have, have Magneto, uh, Professor X, and I 
I would say that those particular two champions there, definitely with Magneto, that could be really good. And reduce opponent's purify ability actually by minus 100% for three seconds after a well-timed block. So I think I would, ru I would run Quicksilver Magneto, uh, especially from an interaction standpoint. And then I don't know if I'd go anywhere else. I just like that particular, you know, setup right there. But yeah, that's really it. There's a few more as well, like um, Ultron Prime and Hawkeye. Punch and stop when Hawkeye heavy attacks cannot be interrupted. Uh, when 50 or more whiplashes expire at the same time, inflicting non-stacking special concussion. I'm not interested with that. That's not interesting me. And uh, this one here, increase the duration of non-damaging debuffs to 20%. Um, yeah, okay, that could be handy for Wither and also keeping the momentum on with Whiplash. Black Bolt there, personal stun duration increased by 25%. That could be interesting. Pair it with Hit Monkey. You could have some really spicy kind of like uh, perma stun. So I might look into that as a future video. But in any case, uh, that's been a little bit of a dissection on the spotlight. Go and check out that on the forums. Very excited for these champions. Let's save in commence to get some pretty amazing champions from August in the, does it think it's like uh, November time, uh, six star feature. So good luck to everybody. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much for watching. Indeed, check out some other content which is on screen right now. I'll see you very soon in a gallon dissection video. Cheers. Bye-bye.